what is BTS and when is it needed? The BTS also can called as a balloon occluded TAS is a modality which was developed in Japan for uh, treatment of liver tumors. Uh, it is nothing but it is infusion of emulsion of chemotherapeutic agent along with the lipidol followed by gelatin particles under occlusion of parent artery to the tumor. So what happens in the big test is we go transradially and identify the feeding artery and will inflate a micro catheter balloon near the tip of the micro catheter and we start injecting a lipidol chemotherapeutic agent emulsion which leads to dense deposition of chemotherapeutic agent lipidol emulsion within the tumor which leads to more curative embolization. Why is BTAS better than the conventional approach TAS for liver cancer management? There will be prevention of reflux of the chemotherapeutic agent into the parent artery. Along with that, there will be uh, changes in the hemodynamic environment around the tumor. For example, uh, the, the basic feeding arterial stump pressure will be around 100 to 110, uh, 110 mm millimeters of mercury. But when you inflate the balloon, what happens is it falls below 64 millimeters of mercury. So that there will be a reduction in the pressure which enables the chemotherapeutic agent to distribute evenly within the tumor. So the results will be better compared to other modalities of embolization. What is your clinical experience on the results and what does the present literature evidence has to say about this management approach? So currently, few trials came up with uh, comparison of uh, depth taste and uh, balloon taste. There is a slightly higher uh, curative embolization with balloon occluded taste compared to the depth taste. Uh, and uh, currently, there are six trials which published their results. Out of them, to clearly show that uh, there is a definitely uh, better results compared to the depth test uh, in a curative embolization, for example, uh, so that uh, the patient doesn't need any further management or further surgery uh, when you do depth test, especially in the large tumors uh, compared to the uh, uh, compared to the depth test. What is radial approach and how is this beneficial for the patient? Radial approach compared to femoral approach is definitely better when it is feasible. Uh, why? Because one thing we can avoid a disastrous complications like a retroperitoneal or a groin hematoma and it is more convenient to the patient and most of the radial procedures are done in a, as a daycare manner so that the patient can be discharged on the same day or few hours after the procedure. And radial approach compared to femoral approach is less time consuming and uh, more convenient to the patient and it is coupled with less adverse events.